Today, I will be cooking Cornish hens on the big green egg. This is a recipe that we've done many times. I'll show you that in just a sec. What I'm going to do is uh, wash and dry the hens and then rub them with that uh, seasoning. And then I'm going to cook them on the big green egg. Slow cook using the uh, plate setter. 275 until I get them up to the temperature that I want. I've got the hens washed and halved. Um, one of the, I think, important things with this recipe is getting, I don't think with any corned hen recipe, is to get them as dry as you can so that the rub will uh, kind of take a little better. So I got them washed and thoroughly dried. About to put the rub on them. Alrighty, rub a dub dub. The hens are rubbed. Uh, you saw, I saw the or showed the uh, recipe for this um, the, the Cornish hens earlier, and do recommend that you quadruple the rub and if you like a lot of spice, as we do. All right, getting the grills ready next. All right, we're getting the grill going here. I found my uh, old starter <laughs> a couple months ago. And I find this to be a pretty effective way to get this grill started in a relatively short period of time. This is, I think, the most efficient and certainly least expensive. Well, baby, my fire is lit. So I'm getting ready to put these hens on and cook them at 275, um, roughly two hours. I'll put a little uh, applewood smoke to them. Uh, since there's apple jelly in the uh, uh, base, so stay tuned. All right, the hens have been on for about mm, 35 40 minutes. I got the temperature where I want it, and they're gonna do it for about two hours. So, about 275 between 250 and 275. That's what the daisy wheel looks like, and that's what the bottom bent looks like. Okay, they've been on for about an hour. I've been keeping them. I've just been insisting on being at 300, so raise it up and flip them over. Okay, this is the um, hens from the top rack when I was doing the double rack. These guys got done pretty quickly, so I went ahead and basted them. I'm going to put the uh, ones that were on the bottom on the uh, rack and uh, baste them too. So we're getting there. Okay, the ones on the plate were on the top rack. They cooked a little bit faster, so they're going to come up. I'm going to wrap them in tin foil, wrap them in a towel, and put them in a, a cooler. That was one of the t uh, recommended um, steps to do with these. So the ones on the grill, I just basted them, and I'll flip them over and baste them again, too. I decided to fry some okra, but not on the big green egg. And here we go. How could you not like fried okra? And here we go with the finished product. Buen appetit.